guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So, no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So, welcome to church. We are tossed and driven on the restless sea of time. Some be skies and howling tempests all succeed a bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mist have been rolled away, we'll understand it better by and by. The second verse is, we're often destitute of the things that life demands. One of food, one of shelter, thirsty hills and barren lands. We are trusting in the Lord, and according to his word, we will understand it better by and by. Okay, we are often just tossed and driven. We are tossed and driven on this restless sea of time. Some be skies and howling tempests all succeed a bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mist have rolled away, we will understand it better by and by. Now, everybody, oh, by and by, oh, when the morning comes, oh.
At this time, our ushers are coming forth for our benevolent offering. Amen. The church say amen. Father God, we thank you for the gifts, and we thank you for the givers. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. The church say amen. At this time, our male course is coming. Let us say amen as they come again. get joy when I think about what I get joy when I think about what church I get joy when I think about 
He saved me. He changed me. He healed me. He filled me. That's what. I get joy when I think about I get joy when I think about Church I get joy when I think about He saved me he changed me, he healed me, he filled me, that's what I get happy when I think about, I get happy when I think about. Church, I get happy when I think about He saved me, He changed me, He healed me, He filled me, He blessed me, He kept me, He fed me, He led me. Anybody got joy? Bubbling in my soul, anybody got joy? Bubbling in my soul, do you have that joy? Bubbling, I got that joy. You need that joy. It's in my hands. It's in my feet. All over me. Do you have the joy? Church, we need the joy. We need the joy. I got the joy. I need the joy. Joy. I got the joy. He changed me. He fed me. He healed me. He filled me. What? And the church said, Amen. Amen. At this time, we'll be favored with our announcements by Sister Mary Wright. Let us church say amen. amen. Good morning, Mount Zion. We have lifted some of our COVID rules. However, please be aware that the BA5 Omicron sub variant is pushing up coronavirus cases and hospitalization yet again in Michigan and across the U.S. Continue to keep your mouth and nose covered with a mask. When bringing your tithes and offerings, we ask that you do not shake hands or hug. We want to keep everyone safe and well here at Mount. Zion. Mount Zion family, please remain faithful in your giving. To our YouTube and Facebook family, you can place your benevolent offering, preacher's offering, and utility offering inside your tithe envelope when mailing in your tithes. Also, the Givelify app is available for use. This morning, we look forward to a message from Reverend Johnny Williams. One of our associate ministers here at Mount Zion, keep him lifted in prayer. 
Tuesday is voting day. Please exercise your right to vote. This right to vote did not come easy for us. Prayer is the key to unlock the kingdom. Continue to pray in your secret place that God's will will be done for Mount Zion. Remember this scripture in your daily prayer. It is important that you understand God's will. 1 John 5 and 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Please keep our sick shut-ins and bereaved families in your prayers, as well as those who are in hospitals, nursing homes, and convalescing at home. Pray for the lost and the less fortunate that God will bring them unto him so they can receive everything they need. Yeah. Mount Zion family, if you know that some of our members are out sick, please give them a call or send them a card. Just a thought from you could make their day. On next Sunday, we look forward to hearing a message from Reverend Robert Smith, pastor of New Bethel Baptist Church. Keep him in your prayers that the Lord will continue to use him. Also, communion will be served on next Sunday. Inspiration for the week. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 and 10. Thank you. Let's just say amen. All right, at this time, we're going to have our tithe and offering, and we'd like to ask everyone to please stand and obey the ushers. Amen. As they come about, you may bring your tithe and offering. Amen to the front. Praise the Lord. May we all stand. May bow our heads for a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask and pray, Lord, you might bless this tithe and offer that's been given on this day. Bless the gift and bless the giver, and bless those, O oh Lord God, who may have a mind and give and have it not. In Jesus' name, we ask it all. Amen. Amen. All right. At this time, time now for altar call, and those of you who wish to come to stand at the altar may do so. At this time, Reverend Mingus is going to come and lead us in prayer. May we all stand. Those who wish to come to the altar may do so. We're so happy to see Reverend Robertson, I mean Deacon Robertson back, amen. He's been ill and the Lord has brought him back this way. Praise the Lord, amen. Amen, and there's numerous other 
members who are here on this day, thank God. Amen. Some have been away from bereavement and they're back home and we're happy to see them. And thank God for taking them safely and brought them back. Amen. In Jesus' name. At this time, everything is coming. Let us pray with him. Thank you. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come with our heads bowed. Hearts, some of our hearts are broken, but still we come. We come to church today because you've been good to us. No matter what the news may say, you've been good to us. We may not have everything we want to have. We may not have been everywhere we want to be, but you've been good to us and you never left us. We love you, Lord. We thank God for you. For those who may be sick today, touch them in the name of Jesus. Their knees may be hurting, their hip may be hurting. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Somebody got a broken heart been hurt but touch him in the name of Jesus and let him know everything will be alright somebody's confused somebody's angry but let them know that you got a peace that nobody can take from them we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you uplift this church bless the man of God who will come and preach the word bless him in the name of Jesus we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Say amen. Anybody want to praise him? We come to praise him and lift his holy name one more time. We come to praise him. Good God Almighty, I want to praise the name. For all he done, I want to praise the name and lift his holy name. Oh, you ought to make a joy for now unto the Lamb. Somebody make a joy for now, young. Oh, unto the Lamb. You know what? You ought to praise His name while you have a change, young. Oh, Lord. I feel like praising his name. I come to give him the glory. Praise him and lift his holy. Yeah. Oh, make a job for now. Good God Almighty, unto the Lord. When I think about all he done, I got to make a job for now. You know what? I realize I'm going to praise his name. You know what? It may be my last time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I praise his name. Oh, Lord. I feel like giving them glory. Yes, sir. Lift his holy. Oh, make a joy for them. 
unto the Lord. Somebody help me make a job and all. Oh, unto the Lord. Church, we ought to praise the name. Twyman, it may be our last time, y'all. Oh, Lord, good God Almighty, praise the name. We come to praise him, praise him, and lift his holy, holy name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise his name. Make a just noise unto him. Oh, ye people, clap your hand. Give God the praise. Yes, sir. Oh, my Lord. Make a jump and on. Unto the Lord. Make a jump and on, yeah. When I think about all he done for me, y'all. Yeah. I just have to praise his name, y'all. Yeah. I got to, we ought to praise his name. While we have a change, y'all, oh, we come to praise him. We come to praise him, y'all. Oh, praise him, lift his holy, holy name. Amen. We came to praise him. Isn't God good? Amen, amen. All right, we're at the highest point, one of the highest points of our worship this morning. Amen, a great preacher, a good friend of mine, amen. We love him here at Mount Zion, amen. Reverend Johnny Williams, hear ye him. Amen. Point your fingers and your hands this way, say, preach the word. Reverend Williams. To our presiding officer, Reverend Jones, to all of these preachers at Mount Zion whom I have had the privilege of laboring with, I certainly want to thank them for coming today. And to our chairman, Deacon Twyman and his staff. Uh, glad to see them. And to all of you, Mount Zion, you looking good. Keep it up. <laughs> Whenever you get a chance, keep it up. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I certainly want to ask you for your prayers this morning. It's so good uh, seeing all of all of us, so much is going on in all of our lives. And we look like to me, we come out of one thing and we go into something else. I want to thank God for the church. For we are still able to meet at the church. That's a blessing. Shine. Oh me shine on me Lord Jesus I, I wonder if the lighthouse oh Lord shine on me Oh Lord, whatever you do, whatever you do on me, oh, oh shine on, on me. Ah, Lord, I wonder if the light. I On, on me. 
from the book of Genesis, the 28th chapter, the 10th through the 12th verse. And it reads, Now Jacob went out from Bathsheba and went towards Haran, so he came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set and he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head. And they lay down in the place to sleep. Then he dreamed and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth and its top reached to heaven. Yeah. And there the angels of God was ascending and descending on it. Right. For a few moments. Take your seats. Not long. Not long. I like to challenge you with the subject. Sleeping through a revolution. Sleeping through a revolution. In the year of 1900, and 65, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered a baccalaureate address to the graduating class of Oberlin University. And he thought he would tell the students the story of Rip Van Winkle, who had slept in the mountain for 20 years. At the foot of that mountain, there was a sign with the picture of King George III from England. And he went on up into the mountain. And he slept for 20 years. And when he came back down the mountain, he saw a different signboard with the picture of George Washington, the first president of the United States. And when he saw George Washington, the first president of the United States, he became confused, he was lost, he was discombobulated. He didn't know where he was, and he didn't know who he was, because while he was snowing up in the mountain, he didn't know that he had slept through a revolution. For when he went up the mountain, he saw the sign, King George III from England. And when he came down the mountain, he saw George Washington, the first president of the United States. He didn't know that he had slept through a revolution. One writer said just the other day that, that the hardest thing for a man to do is to try to wake another man who's pretending that he's asleep. Although the story does not tell us that Rip Van Winkle was pretending to be asleep, it just says that he slept through a revolution. So many of our masculine sons and our Debreton daughters are sleeping through a revolution. 
They don't want to go to school. They don't want to work. They don't want to leave home. All they want to do is hang out in the basement and talk about what happened prom night 20 years ago sleeping. Through a revolution. And you know, uh, uh, as the world time, people are going to work. As the world time, people are taking care of their families. As the world time, people are going to school. As the world time, people are getting opportunity. Listen to me, children. If you don't want to do nothing for yourself, then you too are sleeping. A revolution. Uh-huh. Now, now, Lord, you know I need some help here because that word "revolution" scares a lot of us. <laughs> it scares a lot of us. Now, Mayor Duggan, our, our wonderful mayor, he brought some blessed programs uh-huh. uh, to our great city. Detroit that I so dearly love. And he says, if you want to be a carpenter, if you want to be an electrician, if you want to be a nurse, or if you just want to work in administration, they had programs that you could go and apply and that you could uh, and why you was in the program, they would pay you in the program. That's blessed. And then he also said that those who had poor reading skills, those who couldn't read, he said that they had programs that would help uh, them uh, uh, improve in their reading. And then they would, they would pay them for it. How well do I know about poor reading skills? I suffered with that for a long time. Poor reading skills. I suffered. When I became a freshman in school, Professor Mary Fitzgerald, who was head of the English department, she stopped me one day and said, Johnny Williams, I thought I'd tell you to your face that I flunk you in English because your reading skills is not at a college level. I was embarrassed. I was hurt. Because what I had been hiding for years, it found, it came out. It's a funny thing. The very thing that you are hiding would one day come to the light. And she said, Johnny Williams, you're going home with me three days a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. She carried me home and set me down at a kitchen table. And I never shall forget what she said to me. She said, Johnny, I don't want you to feel bad. She said, because you'll be surprised of the people that come here and sit at this table. And while she was fixing her husband, Dr. Fitzgerald's dinner and herself, she had me reading out a third and fourth grade level book. And while she was making up bread and and putting bread in the stove, peeling potatoes, scraping carrots, she said, she said, Johnny, with her back to him. 
You see that comma? She said, when you see a comma, you slow down. And when you see a period, you stop. And she said, Johnny, every sentence always carries the clue what's in the paragraph. She said, the paragraph don't make sense to you. Read it back over. And she said, and when it makes sense, read the next paragraph. And she taught me phonics. I, I, I didn't know phonics. I didn't have phonics in school. Phonics is the sounding of words. And when my reading began to improve greatly, the universe opened up to me and a world of knowledge came and knocked on the doors of my mind. This is what Mayor Duggan is trying to do with these programs that he's bringing into our city. He's hoping that the universe will open up to you and the world of knowledge will come and knock on the doors of your mind. Listen to me, children. Yes, yes. If you do not apply yourself to these needed programs, then you too, sleeping through a revolution. Now, there are people in life who are pretending to be sleep. They ain't sleep. They pretending. Junior, go on, get up now. Go out there and mow that yard. He ain't sleep. He pretending. To be sleep. Junior, go on, get up now, cause Pauline and them coming over for tomorrow for the backyard barbecue, and I just don't want to hear my sister's mouth. Get up, Junior. Junior, if you go on, get up. I'll get you them tennis shoes that you always wanted. Okay, Mama, I'm woke. I'll be out there in two minutes. Pretending to be sleep. He ain't sleeping. The reason so many of us are pretending to be asleep, it is because we don't want to wake up to responsibility. Responsibility. The late great Michael Graves told me, one day he said, Johnny, every blessing always brings on responsibility. In other words, if the Lord didn't help you get that job, then you ought to be responsible enough to keep it. Responsibility. Sidney Poitier, in his best-selling book, he says that the measure of a man is how well he takes care of his children. Responsibility. Yeah. And then the Bible says that if you don't work, you don't eat. Responsibility. Yes. Now, when you are not responsible for your life, your life becomes a trickster's life. Yeah. And many of our tricksters, they learn their trade from at home. <laughs> Jacob. And his mother, Rebecca, she taught Jacob how to lie and scheme at home. Y'all yeah. don't know the story? Trickster. She taught him to lie to his father, Isaac. Uh -huh. She taught him to scheme for his brother's birthright. Listen to me, children. Whenever a parent teach a child to lie and scheme to the other parent, you're crippling that child. Time out for you telling that child you just like your daddy. Stop it. Yeah. 
You just like your mom. Stop it. That child got enough mountains to climb instead of you trying to give that child another mountain. If you can't say nothing good about a child's parent, don't say nothing at all. They'll find out. The old folk in Louisiana said, if you really want to know whether a man is born again, ask his children. They know. And then we as parents and grandparents, we must learn to listen to our children. Not only that we should listen to them, but we must learn to dignify their questions. Because every question is a good question. And then some scholars are saying that every time a child is born, that parent becomes a student. Because the very, that very child you're holding in your arms one day, that very child is going to teach you something. Not only we must learn to be good parents, but we must learn to be good students too. And so, uh, so many of our children, uh, they uh, in alcoholism, so many of them are sleeping in dependent, drug dependence. So many of them are sleeping through uh, gambling anonymous. So many us sleeping through breaking hearts and tearing down relationships. You need to know this, that only God can work you out of your stupor. So here in the text here, here in the text, Jacob was sleeping through a revolution. Because the Bible said that the angels, they left heaven and they came down Jacob's ladder. Yeah. And they came down to uh, the creation of God. Yeah. And there they saw Jacob sleeping on a stone. Yeah. You know, uh, could it be that this stone mm -hmm, is the cornerstone of humanity and justice because uh, every man before you can find justice you got to learn to wrestle with God and uh, oh Lord and, and can't you see mm, oh Lord yeah God waking mm, Jacob and uh, he wakened Jacob Mm, oh Lord, mm, yeah, with peace. Mm, oh Lord, and, oh Lord, and and uh, he wakened Jacob. Mm, yeah, mm, he wakened him with truth. Oh Lord, and oh Lord, and and oh Lord, mm, yeah, he wakened him with truth. Mm, and uh, what I want to tell you this morning, mm, oh Lord, that the truth of the matter is Jesus. Mm, oh Lord, Jesus and my lily of the valley, mm, my bright and lonely star. Mm, my wheel, my wheel, my wheel, my wheel, oh Lord, in the midst of a wheel. Oh, Lord, oh, 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 Jesus, every now and then, yeah, I love to call on his name, and oh, Jesus, and yeah, yeah, yeah Jesus, my way maker, my four day traveler, Jesus, if you let him in your life, he'll come and wake you. 
Whatever you're going through, yeah, all right. Jesus, Jesus, he'll come, he'll come, he'll come. And not only he'll wake you, but uh, he'll listen to you. And oh, oh, oh Jesus, Jesus, it's what I want to tell you this morning. Let him in your life. Let him in your life and there he is and he's knocking, he's knocking and he's knocking and yeah, 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 he's knocking at the door. Let him in. Let him in. I know you're sleeping and I know you don't want to get up. Yeah, 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 let him in. Let him in. If you let him in, he'll bring, yeah, he'll bring richness in your life. If you let him in, he'll bring daylight into your life. If you let him in, yeah, yes, he'll bring you a new life. He'll bring you a new start. He'll bring you, oh, 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 I don't know about you, but every day, every day, every day. some dreary days oh, oh, oh I've had some sleepless nights but when I look around and I think things over oh my good days Outweigh my bad days. I, I won't complain. Sometimes my clouds hang low. I can't even see the road. So I ask the question, Lord. Why so much pain? Oh yeah, but yeah, he know what's best for me. Oh yes, he do. Although these old weary eyes, oh, they can't see, but I'm learning to say, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It don't look good sometimes. Thank you, Lord. It don't look like I can make it sometime. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Ah, yes. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I won't complain. Oh, the Lord. He's been good to me. I'm talking about Johnny Williams. Oh, he's been good to me more than this whole world could ever be he's been good he's 
been good to me. He dries all of my tears away. He turned my midnights into day. So I, I say, thank you, Lord. It ain't been easy. Thank you, Lord. I cried sometimes. Thank you, Lord. Loved ones put me down, but I, oh, yes. I ain't going to do it. And the church said, Amen. We've done as the Lord command, and yet there's still room. Amen. God bless the message and the messenger. Haven't we been blessed this morning? Praise the Lord. All right. All right. All right. Deacon Twyman, any words you want to say at this time? All right. All right. Church, say amen again. All right. God bless. All right. All right. We're going to get a benediction at this time. Everybody say amen. Everybody say. Everybody say. All right. All right. Let's not forget the urchins at the door. Amen speaker. May we look to heaven. Father God, in the name of Jesus, bless all of our people, oh God, who've come on this day. Bless those, oh God, who, who couldn't make it, oh God, but their hearts are here. Bless our friends who've come, our neighbors from near and far. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule of the Bible with us, hence now and forevermore. May we all respond. Oh, Bless you.